what up guys welcome to another youtube tutorial for the making beats for fun series this is just a quick breakdown on how to record your vocals in native instruments machine or you can sample the internal audio as well so i'm using a um, audio interface the scarlet 212 that's plugged into the usb of the macbook and the version of machine software 2.7.2 so this is what works for me if I want to quickly just record my vocals and sample or chop chop up a sample begin by creating a new file in the native instruments machine software and what I'm going to do just use a loop so I'm just going to choose a hip-hop loop 93 BPM it's a wave file you can drag across onto the sound here we don't want to do a scene we want to do a, uh, a group or a pattern so what you want to do this loop is 93 BPM so you want to change the BPM of your of your track to 93 as well and what we want to do you can change the polyphony to one that will play the sample once it won't overplay of itself and then double click on him and then with the mouse you can select the length of the pattern you can have two four six eight bars I know this particular sample is two bars so I'm going to choose from one to three and once I start to play I'll, I'll be able to hear my my drum beat and then all I want to do is just to record either my vocals or record an instrument with a microphone so to do that let's go to the machine preferences and I'm going to change the audio at the moment I'm using the sound flower it's set to multi output device so it can record the sound from machine I'm using screen flow so once I change it to the Scarlett 212 audio interface it's going to be a left channel and your right channel it's going to be able to record my vocals but you guys won't be able to hear the drum beat I'll change it back to multi output device afterwards so you click on the plus sign create a new group come down to your sample over here and you can see it's picking up the microphone and we don't want it in stereo we want it in mono that will record both left and right channel and the input leave it as is the mode leave it on sync and then the pattern length you can ch choose the free pattern and pretty much once I click on here just to move that to two bars as well let's see as soon as I start to press the start button it will record my vocal and then you still have to go into your native instruments hardware to press shift record as well to begin the recording so you won't be able to hear the drum sound I'll change it to the multi output device afterwards but yeah let's begin Freestyle fanatic, systematic, this is hip hop, I just love it. Okay, so as you can see, there's the waveform. I'll change the audio preferences back to the multi output device. And now you'll be able to hear what I've recorded. So, this section over here, you have your record edit slice so if you want to edit your sample you can normalize it you can reverse it you can fade in fade out and then the slices if you come down to your machine hardware you see the first sort of uh, button on the hardware starts to flicker so what I can do drag that across to the first little bar and then the polyphony can change to one as well so it doesn't play with itself. Freestyle fanatic, freestyle free, free fanatic, system. Freestyle fanatic, freestyle free, free fanatic, freestyle fanatic, system. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just chop up the sample into probably four bars. So on your hardware, when you press 
freestyle fanatic you can systematic. see the second this is hip hop button on I the hard drive it is flashing so whenever you want to press that it will click on your second sample so first one freestyle fanatic system this is systematic 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 okay so what i've done the second sample systematic this is systematic this is hip hop if i don't kind of want to edit it a little bit more i can drag the left and right sort of uh curses systematic this is system systematic this is hip this 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 is hip hop i just this is just love it okay so that last one i wanted to start at about there i just love it i, I, I just love it okay so i've got on the machine hardware pretty much four little samples freestyle fanatic systematic this is hip hop i just love it okay so what i want to do is apply that and it will come onto my machine software and if i start to play it would have done kind of the samples would have been brought into the machine software freestyle fanatic systematic this is hip hop i, I just love it okay so i don't want that what i want to do just select all the samples delete them and then what i'll do is i'll play them manually freestyle fanatic Okay, so you can change on your machine hardware the pad. You can set it to fixed velocity. Freestyle fanatic. Freestyle free fanatic. fanatic. Okay, so you hear the polyphony. That needs to be changed to one. So one play over each other. Freestyle fanatic. This is systematic. This is hip hop. I just love it. And now, just over here on your sound, I can add a uh, effect to it. I can have reverb or beat delay. So what I'll do is just add a little bit of a reverb. And then when I play it, freestyle fanatic, systematic. This is this is, is hip hop. I just love it. Okay, so let's press shift record. Freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic, systematic. This is this is hip hop. I freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic. Okay, so not the best of recording, but uh, that's how pretty much you record your vocals or any instrument into the native instruments software and then if you don't want to reverb you can take that away press the plus sign and then the internal you can choose any other effect or native instruments if you want to add equalizer or compression so what i'll do for now I'll just leave it as is this is hip hop i freestyle fanatic freestyle fanatic systematic this is this is hip hop i freestyle fanatic freestyle fanatic systematic this is this is hip hop i freestyle fanatic freestyle fanatic okay and last thing we want to do as well if you want to record the internal audio so for instance if there's something playing on youtube i'm going to play one of my beats from the youtube channel i'll go to my machine software again the auto preferences let me turn this down a bit okay so you go to your machine preferences and the audio and this time I'm going to select the Sunflower 2 channel. So you see the Sunflower 2 channel in the left and right channel. Close. Create a new group. Go to your sample over here. Okay. And when you go record. And I press play on the YouTube video. You see it's picking up the sound from the internal audio. So this time you want to leave it into... Stereo, so it's picking up the left and the right channel of the audio internal. And again, once I press the start button, I'm gonna make it to two bars as well. Once I press start, and then I press shift record on my audio hardware, it will record it as well.
Freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic, systematic. This this is hip hop. A freestyle fanatic. Okay. So uh, again, I'm going to change the audio preferences to multi-output device so you can hear what's been recorded. And yeah, once I press play, it's recorded my vocal that I recorded earlier with the mic and it's also recorded the internal audio. So again, you can go to edit, you can normalize the waveform. Freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic, systematic, this, this is hip hop. Okay, and then change the polyphony to one. The slices again, you can edit the slices and make a couple of samples from that. Or if I press apply, it will apply the my vocals that I've recorded plus the internal sound as well. Freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic, systematic. This this is hip hop. A freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic, systematic. This this is hip hop. A freestyle fanatic, freestyle fanatic. So this just a uh, this pretty this much a quick breakdown. Either to record your vocals in machine or record a uh, instrument or record internal audio from from YouTube or the internet. Uh, yeah. So again. If you want to do it, another quick breakdown, file, new, you select instead of a scene, you select a group or a pattern. So if you want to record the internal audio preferences, I have Soundflower, so you choose your Soundflower 2 channel. And you go to your sample over here, when you hit record, Make sure it's set to stereo in left and right channel, in the mode to sync, or if you change it to detect, you can push it up to around zero dB. And then once I press play on, on YouTube, you can see it's picking up the, vocal, the volume on here. Or I can have it on sync and then it will sync to the bars of of Native Instruments machine. So uh, let's redo it again. Just click once on here. Choose two bars, four bars. Back to sampling. Press start. And then on your hardware you have to press shift record. Okay, sorry, I did it for uh, for one bar this time. So you can set the length to two bars, four bars, or f let it run all the way. So yeah, again, machine order preferences. If you want to hear what I've just recorded, I have to change it to multi-output device. And I just recorded one bar this time. I can normalize it. Okay, that was a little bit too loud but uh, yeah this is pretty much how you do it uh, if you've got any questions give me a shout this is what works for me so I'm using Native Instruments machine audio interface the Scholar 212 on the MacBook and the OS operating system should be pretty similar on Windows as well and yeah that's it for today give me a shout if you need any help and uh, see you soon